This 230 amp hour battery was able to run all of the DC appliances in my off-grid cabin for more than a week of runtime without it being connected to any of my solar panels. This is going to be a full in-depth review testing out this 230 amp hour battery from Lee Time. I test its 200 amp maximum capabilities of running it with my 2000 watt inverter, plus running it with a lot of different DC appliances so that we can stress test the BMS. I also love the fact that it comes with a low temperature cutoff, which is really cool. And I also did a full battery capacity test where I basically ran my battery capacity tester at around 100 watts continuously, and I was really amazed with the results. First and foremost, I was really happy to see that this BMS can definitely handle up to 200 amps. I tested this for five minutes. You can see I was running all sorts of different appliances via the DC load with a DC controller box. And I was running my AC inverter at the same time. I was running it at absolute maximum. It was actually really difficult to get my inverter to run absolute maximum whilst running my induction stove. And you can see it was running everything just fine, which was amazing. So I ran this test for five minutes at around 200 amps and the battery had no issues with running at 200 amps. I think for most average people, running a 2000 watt inverter plus a lot of DC appliances at the same time at absolute maximum, it's actually really difficult to even reach the maximum of the BMS, which is really cool. I also had a brief spike up to 215 amps. The BMS had no issues with doing this either. Another test I did is I basically ran this 12 volt, 230 amp hour battery connected to all of my DC appliances. So that's my computer, my fridge, my lights. I then just didn't run any solar charge into the battery, so I disconnected it and I left the battery to run all of my DC appliances and it ran it for up to one week without needing to be charged, which I thought was really amazing. I got a reading of around 2,850 watt hours out of the battery. And then when it came to the actual battery capacity test, I basically fully charged the battery again. And then I left the battery to discharge with my battery capacity tester. We got a reading of 3,049 watt hours, which I thought was really good. And we got 230 five amp hours I was able to draw out of this battery. It's rated slightly higher than what it's actually printed on the actual casing, which I thought was really cool. Again, if you are using an AC inverter, you will get some conversion losses, but in terms of DC power, you are getting the full 3000 watt hours, which is really great to see. I did that test at around hundred watts continuously. And the one week test, I was draining about 15 watts on average, but it was kind of fluctuating because I would use my computer intensively for a few hours. Then I would use my fridge and that would go on and off sometimes. I'm really happy to see that the BMS is more than capable of handling a 2000 watt inverter with no issues and then running a bunch of DC appliances on top of that. I also love the fact that it has a low temperature cutoff sensor. So this battery is actually quite large to actually fit inside my fridge, but I have done another test on a group 31 size self-heating battery also from Lee Time and it had no issues with running the low temperature cutoff sensor, which basically protects the battery from charging below freezing. The low temperature cutoff sensor in this battery is pretty much identical, so we can expect to see the same performance there. Overall, I'm very happy with this battery. It's going to be a big, meaningful upgrade. I basically wanted to take my 200 amp hour batteries, which I run together in parallel, effectively running as a 200 amp hour system, and I wanted to do a little upgrade, so I'm now getting an extra 30 amp hours of storage and also it's a more compact design. I love the fact that the terminals are further apart. Keep in mind this battery does weigh 20 kilos, so it's definitely on the hefty side. It's definitely more compact than using two 100 amp hour batteries put together in parallel. It's an all-in-one package. Uh, I did actually wear it myself. For a quick summary, compared to the 100 amp hours, you're getting basically double the storage, which is really cool. You're getting a 200 amp BMS in this model. You can also get Bluetooth models as well. Definitely a feature worth going for. And in terms of the battery capacity test, it actually overperformed. So we were getting 3,049 watt hours out of this battery, which was more than enough. And it's actually plenty for running all sorts of different devices in an off-grid setting, for example, in my off-grid cabin. For the next video, you might want to have a look at some of the reviews that I've already previously done on these lead time batteries. And keep an eye out that we will be doing a review on an e-bike conversion kit. We'll be having a look at some of the biking stuff. And also in terms of future videos, I will be taking a small, break during the winter season just to take some time off from doing YouTube and hopefully around the new year I'll get back into the swing of things of posting some other different videos for example the e-bike conversion kit.